let's look at the Fantastical for Mac preferences. You can access them under the menu bar under Fantastical preferences, or you can use the keyboard shortcut command comma. I'll go ahead and do that. Command comma, there they are. Uh, starting with the general pane, uh, there's a checkbox item here at the top, run in background. This allows Fantastical to sync, show notifications and show the mini window even when Fantastical is quit. Definitely check that if you're gonna use Fantastical, that way you've got a fully operating calendar sync going on even from the mini window up in the menu bar when the application is closed. You can also pick the default calendar and task list and the default event duration. By default, that's one hour. I usually like to make it 30 minutes. If a meeting's gonna take an hour, it needs to earn it in my book. Uh, start the week on, you can say today or selected day, and this is when you're showing the week view. I keep that today. You start the month view on the first week of the month. Uh, start the week on, you can choose any day of the week to start the week on. I prefer Monday. I think the default is Sunday. And when showing the week view, there is a, a default of seven days per week. I did explain in one of the videos, however, the way I use that with 14 days a week in the full screen view. Likewise, you can have weeks per month and what time the day starts at. So if you're an early riser, you can start your day at six. If you're tight on screen real estate, you can have Fantastical only show the day start to end hours. I actually keep that turned off. And you can also compress how many hours it shows on the screen at a time. I like to keep it at 19. This button opens the date and time formats preference in the Mac operating system. And you can set your own custom keyboard shortcut to trigger the mini window. For years, I've used Control Option Command F. And at this point for me, it's second nature. Fantastical also has some great user interface sounds. You can turn them off or on in this pane. Now let's move to the appearance pane. This is where Fantastical keeps all of the appearance settings. To begin with, if you'd like, you can hide Fantastical in the menu bar, although I've never turned that on. I like having it in my menu bar. You also have control over the list shows items. So I have it set to all days, but it could be selected day or selected day and the next day. You can set the text size among various options. And you can decide how tasks are sorted. You also have the ability to control what the menu bar icon shows. Zooming over to my menu bar, you can see it's currently showing the date, but I could have it show the date and weekday, or I could have it show uh, the date and month and a variety of additional items, including those relating to tasks, invitations, and the current calendar week. The Fantastical application icon can show a badge and you can decide what that badge represents, whether it's remaining items in your reminders, event invitations, or the current calendar week. If you'd like, you can turn off the badge entirely here. There are also several options where you can control exactly what Fantastical will show you, including when an event ends, the calendar week and numbers, declined events, hidden items, maps for locations, tasks in the day, week, and month views, whether or not you want to see completed tasks. You can turn on the ability to combine identical events, which I've covered in another video in this series. You can organize tasks by list. You can show multi-day events in the all day section and show upcoming events in the status bar. You can also use the color menu bar icon if you'd like. If you want some color in your menu bar, tick that box. And there's also a light theme for Fantastical. If you just click that, you can see that the background dark area just got light. Now let's look at the accounts preference pane. This is covered in other videos, but I just want to emphasize once more how important it is that you connect your accounts to Fantastical to take advantage of all of the application features. The calendar's preferences have also been covered throughout this video series. This is where you can set up your calendar sets and your calendars. Here you can create and remove calendars, change their colors and other settings related to calendars. This is the place in Fantastical where you will do all of your calendar management. The next preference pane relates to alerts. While I'm not normally a fan of getting notifications and alerts from my applications, 
calendar applications are the big exception for me. So I have all of these turned on. If you don't want notifications or maybe you don't deal with a lot of invitations, you can make adjustments here. The next preference pane relates to weather. As a rule, Fantastical will get the weather for your current location. However, if you have appointments and there is location data attached to those appointments, the weather forecast for that appointment will reflect that location. Either way, if you want to change the location, this is the place you do it. Next are the advanced preferences. Here you can choose how Fantastical opens maps, whether you want to use Google Maps or Apple Maps. You may have noticed throughout this video series that every time I added a new event, Fantastical then went back to today. That's a preference that I like and I keep turned on. Time zone override is something I discussed in the time zone support video, but if you want to override the existing time zone, this is the place you can do. Likewise, there is a second time zone display in the day and week view. In fact, you can see it right here in the background in the week view. You can turn that off if you want with this preference right here. And finally, in this pane is the favorite time zones, and this is where you can add and remove time zones from your favorite list. All of this was covered in the time zone support video that's a separate part of this series. And finally is the update preference. If you want to keep up to date with Fantastical, make sure you keep that turned on. And if you think you're behind on updates, just click on the check for update button. There's a lot of preferences to Fantastical, but they're logically organized. And if you just spend a little time going through and making them work for you, you can get the exact calendar experience that you want most. So spend a few minutes in the preferences and make Fantastical work for you.